Page five. Page five. I have suggested three things, and if you look at the third thing there, I have said instruments such as participatory notes and anonymous instruments by funds or or shell companies needs to be disallowed with immediate effect. Every time a company invests in stocks or other financial instruments in the stock exchange or elsewhere, the relevant authority must be able to determine the exact ownership of the investment ending in the final individuals who hold the money that is being invested. In case of investments made in the name of a company or a trust, the major shareholders of the company or the trustees of the trust must be determined and duly recorded before the investment is allowed. Now I have said this because we all know that a large sum of money is invested in India through a device called participatory notes which allows people to invest money anonymously in the stock market. I had sent a copy of this letter to the SIT also. Eventually, after a year, the SIT in its report of July this year made a very clear and categorical recommendation that these instruments, these devices which allow anonymous investments in India, whether it is participatory notes or investments by these shell companies which are registered in tax havens, these must be stopped. And if you see that, that report <coughs> is at page uh, 11. Page 11 is the report, this is the press release, in which if you see the bottom of page 11, misuse of participatory notes for money laundering. In this part, they very, very clearly recommend at the end of this that after pointing out the 2.7 lakh crores, if you come to the page 12, they say SEBI has informed, third paragraph, that the outstanding value of offshore derivative instruments at the end of February 2015 stood at 2.7 lakh crores. SEBI has further informed that the top five locations of end beneficial owner of ODIs were Cayman Island, US, UK, Mauritius and Bermuda contributing so and so, so and so, so and so. And then they say the following recommendations are made in this regard. It is clear that obtaining information on beneficial ownership of participatory nodes is of crucial importance to prevent their misuse. SEBI needs to examine the issue raised above and come up with regulations where the final beneficial owner of participatory notes and overseas derivative instruments are known. Same thing they said about investment from shell companies. But what was the government's response? The government's response is what Mr. Jaitley said, which is, if you see that newspaper report at page 10, government's response was that no, <coughs> sorry, sorry, not at page 10, <coughs> that government's response